So do you want to know if this HyperGo car is any good or not? I do too. I saw it. It looks so cool. I didn't, I wasn't familiar with it. I'm not sponsored, nothing like that. I bought it with my own money. I'm like, we've done 10,000 other RC cars. I never saw or heard of this thing. Let's go play with it. So the basics are it's 1 16th scale, supposed to be pretty reliable, pretty quick and a reasonable point that I'm not allowed to say here. So in any case, I'm going to stop talking. Let's go use it, see how it looks, see how it goes. Then I'll come back. I'll give you a review. And then if you're still interested at the end, you can come back and watch the unboxing. All right, bashing in the grass, always a ton of fun, but how about we use that built-in GPS app and see how fast it goes. So we're gonna do two runs. First, we're gonna try it at 70% power, see what we get. And now let's try it at 100% power and let's wipe out the camera. So after some donuts and the hard pack sand, I thought we should try a jump and wouldn't you know it, we're gonna waste the camera again. So I'm going to quickly rattle through the specs for this truck so you know what it is. Then I'm going to do the review and the unboxing. If you want to see more of this crazy cool footage, I'll just put it at the back of the video. You can enjoy that. Here are the key HyperGo H16 GT specs. It is 1 16th scale. It is RTR, meaning it's ready to go right out of the box. It has that GPS included. It says it has a max of 40 kilometers per hour. I got 17 miles per hour consistently is my max. It has LED lights on the front, which are actually pretty bright and cool. Obviously, this monster truck style has two bodies, which I think is just great. And it also comes with a whole bunch of really good spare parts. I think that's really thoughtful. And then finally, it is a 2S LiPo battery, but you can upgrade it to a 3S for more power. Okay, I'm out here where I've been testing this. This is so cool. I love the functionality that it has the GPS app, that thing is so fun. Actually, in case you're wondering how fast it is, I'll put the numbers up here right now. Um, it seemed relatively quick, but nowhere near as fast as some of these similar 1 16th scales that I have. Certainly ultra fun, perfectly. Actually, on some level, it was completely drivable, even at 100% speed, which some of these are completely not drivable. So I think it's the perfect balance for size, weight, power, that kind of stuff. If you wanted more power, you just throw a 3S battery in there and then it should really rock, right? This is definitely a more road, dirt road kind of leading model. Like you could see a couple times I got it stuck. Um, definitely doesn't have a ton of ground clearance and it doesn't have a ton of suspension movement. You could even see it has like a very low sidewall tire. So like on the road, it's the handling is great. I would think like on like grass or or like let's say a baseball field on the clay it would be ridiculously cool out here where it's like really kind of a little bumpy and random what's going to happen it's definitely a little difficult to keep it upright and not on its roof but you just flip it over and go again it's super cool battery life was great so this is absolutely a full five out of five on the doug score this thing is a super value for what it is crazy value really cool Hope that was helpful. All right, welcome to the past. You are now in the history because you know much more about this than I do. You saw me play with it. You saw how it runs. You saw my review. You want to know what's inside the box. I want to know too. I want to go play with it because you already got to see that. So let's see what we got inside here. 1 16th scale. I personally like them a little bigger. Like I'm a big fan of like the 1 10th scale, but 1 16th seems to be most common for these RTR trucks. Um, 2.4 gigahertz remote. Let's see what's in here. Dun, 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 dun. I like the clear rear wing on it. it looks pretty solid and cool. All right, I'm gonna make you wait a minute to see the model. I haven't looked at it either yet. Here's the remote. This is kind of cool. Connects to your cell phone somehow. There's lots of stuff. Look, there's a, oh, wait a sec. How does it connect to the phone? What does it do? I, I guess you already know. No FPV, there's some sort of, uh, app with GPS and that kind of stuff. Well, I guess I'm gonna have figured that out for the test. Here is the battery charger. Comes with two batteries to start out with for the remote. 
one battery for the car, second battery in it. So you have two batteries. Uh, I'm not sure, oh, this is a different rear wing, a replacement rear wing. Oh, I love this. Look at that supply of clips. I always lose the clips, that's great. Uh, wheelie bars, and there are some really nice spare parts here. There's shafts here, optional springs. That's all so cool. This is much more, so, this is much more sophisticated than I expected, and I definitely didn't expect two different body styles. I just really lucked into a great purchase, I believe, here. Oh, and there's definitely oil in these shocks. I'm so used to them being like super junky. This is, I'm excited about this. All right, only one thing left to do. I gotta go play with this. I will see you in a couple days. Well, you've already seen the play. You've seen the review. You, you know everything. I need to go learn it. All right, I'll see you next time.